Hey guys, welcome to my YouTube channel. Today, uh, what what I have decided to do is I have decided to create some tutorial videos in in a lot of new technologies. Anyway, first thing I want, my name is Siba Dikari. By profession, I'm a senior software engineer, or you can call me advocate of web, web technology. I would like to you know learn new thing about web technology, and, and the idea that I have learned, I would like to share with you guys in the videos. Anyway, this is going to be the topic. The in this series of video tutorial, what we're going to do, we're going to, we're going to talk about some of the topics such as Node.js. We're going to talk about Mocha, what Mocha is, what Chai is, and some of the technology associated with the Node.js. And some how, how to, you know, um, other important thing we're going to talk about is a handlebar. Uh, I don't use handlebar that often, but in this case, kind of like very uh, easy to integrate with, uh, with the Node.js. And we will be developing a feature that I will show you later using something called test-driven development. Ideally, we're going to write a test first using a Mocha and Chai. And once our test, only after that, we're going to start writing our code, uh, our um, baseline code. Okay. And some of the programming languages or technology, you call it, that we're going to talk about is Node.js, as I said before, Express.js. We're going to talk, we're going to use Mocha and Chai and the handlebar. And f for this one, you don't have to need you don't need to have any fancy editor or anything. All, you, all we're going to do is we can use you know open source editor called Visual Studio Code from Microsoft. And next thing I'm going I'm going to show you the app demo, how the app looks like. And then we can I will then we're going to develop that feature from the scratch. And I will explain all the all the feature and how we do it, everything in detail, both both um, the ideas, you know, um, the principle and everything. Okay, that is a basic about what we're gonna do. The next thing we're gonna do, I will show you that what the application does. Okay. What this application does is this is basically um, I don't know you guys are familiar with the poker card games, so basically this has this application has ability to to uh, decide the poker hand. For instance, here I have two two pair, you know, two hands right here. This is the first player here, and ideally the winning winning card and non-winning card. So here, in, in in this block right here, the winning block is in the red font, says winning poker hand, and non-winning poker hand is down here. So as you can see on this first example here, it's it's the winning hand is the first one because it has the highest um, highest card. It doesn't have any um, any flaws or any pair or three pairs of card. I, I'm assuming you know you guys are familiar with the with the game of poker. Of course if you are not then very first thing you have to learn is you know the, just learn how the poker game really works. Okay that's first example and here it is in player one is winner with the two pairs because as you can see right here he has the two fives and the second player has the biggest card of king. That's why the first player is winner. And as you can see, um, okay, I want to show you a little different one. For example, in this particular case, this is saying, okay, the first hand is a flush because as you can see, this card has all has a suit of heart versus the second player has just a pair of six. So. Uh, so now I want to share you the idea how I came up with this one. Basically, I, I whenever I have free time, I, I'm really a fan of Euler Project, the website Euler Project, where you can find a lot of mathematical problems that you can solve. And that's where I got that information. Basically, they have one of the problem. I think it was problem related to 54. So they provide basically a card information, and you 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 have to write the logic to determine which player, player first or player second, is the winner. Okay. Um, just to show you guys which I'm talking about. I am referring to this poker hands right here. So that's what that's where I got that idea from. So basically here, if you go down here. Here is a bunch of, right here, it's a two, you have 10 cards in each row. These five cards belongs to a first player, and this five card belongs to a second player. Based on that, you know, I, I basically designed this uh, feature using Node.js. 
I, I, of course, you can. You don't really have to rely on Node.js, but I found Node is a lot easier to write and implement. Everything is open source, you know, so you can implement these features with so many different languages, but the idea is common. Anyway, that is what we can do. Um, this so starting from next video tutorial, I will be um, you know we'll be writing the, we will be writing this whole feature from the scratch. And, and and the most important thing is we will be using the unit test, and we'll also you have to do unit testing in Node using this library called Mocha and Chai. Okay, that's gonna be the first part. Thank you for you know continually watching my videos and stuff. I'll I will, as I record more videos, I'll be uploading and looking forward to uh, hearing your feedback and comments. Thank you guys. I really appreciate it.